What's going on lads? Today this is going to be the video on the five things I dislike about my Audi A3 which is obviously the background. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I've been meaning to do this video for a little while but over here in sunny England it's literally been like a rainforest. It's non-stop been raining all week um, and whenever I have the free time I'm uh, it's been raining so I can't I'm not being able to uh, do this video but finally it's become a little bit sunny um, I think it's gonna be raining it is gonna be raining this afternoon so I'm gonna quickly bang this out in the morning and hopefully we go all good so let's go ahead and jump into this video okay lads so I'm gonna start this off from the, the uh, outside to the inside of the things that I don't like about this car um, now I've already fixed this issue but I remember when I first had this car, the issue was with these standard A3s is this windscreen right wiper um, that you can actually see. Basically, when these come standards, the windscreen wiper drops and obviously it drops to the point where it hits the paint. Now, if you guys can see this, I'll try to get in. Oh, where is it? Hopefully you guys can see that there's a little mark on my paint because when I originally got this car the windscreen wiper dropped down and it just rested on the bodywork. Um, so what I had to do is take the windscreen wiper off, take it off and just basically move it up a couple of splines. Um, ever since then it seems to not have dropped but you can see the amount of play that's in these. Yeah, it's not very really good. Um, so yeah, definitely, if you guys have got one of these, definitely check if yours is definitely, if it's dropped or not. Because um, if it has, it can cause damage to your paintwork like mine has. Um, so I'm going to have to get that fixed or whatever. If I decide to get this car wrapped in the future, hopefully that will just fix it and that will be done. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the second thing. Now... With these three doors, um, I'm not too sure on the four doors, but I know with the three doors, it has a problem with the doors dropping. Um, now if I open this up all the way, you'll be able to see on your little door latch here, there's, well, obviously maybe not on yours, but mine has got a little, as you can see that, it's sort of like shaved off at the top there, because the door has dropped and the locking, locking mechanism has been hitting the latch and it's actually shaved off some of the metal um, so yeah this door has definitely dropped in the past uh, I m managed to get it a bit higher but it still is not right because you can see it's not exactly straight well, this, it seems to be sort of straight here but the top it is not very straight and when you try to close the door like gently just give it Oh, this one now actually is closing, but oh yeah, you know, it, it sometimes it doesn't close and you have to slam it properly. But these doors do drop, and I have dropped it in the uh, they have dropped in the past, so I've had to get a jack and slowly lift the door up to get it back up. But it's the same on the other side as well. Uh, let me double check. Yeah, so if you pull this open, yeah, it's shaved a little bit of the top, but not as much. But yeah, that's another thing I don't like about these. It's just how the doors drop over time. But I think that's with most three door cars, really. Uh, just because of how heavy the doors are, because they're a longer door than they would be in the four door. Um, so yeah, that's my second thing. Okay, so my third thing is this armrest. Now, it's, you know, it's a good, nice little armrest. I mean, it's leather. It does the job, I suppose, but I don't really use it. Now, with this locking me mechanism, it's basically just clips and falls into place there, like that. Now, on the forums, um, people have seen that if you have these upright, like so, and you're driving them about, one minute you go over a bump and this will just unlock and it'll just fall down and then it'll be down for the whole time. Now, if you're anyone like me, where well, I don't really like my armrest, um, 
yeah if i want anything in here it just falls behind the seats because this will open up when i have it up and when i'm driving around it'll just fall down so <clears throat> that's definitely gonna be a third thing it's some of the lads on the forums have put uh, like velcro and everything to hold it down but it's just it's quite stupid really i mean i don't really want to be modifying this to make it work it should just work you know um <coughs> so yeah that's definitely my third thing um so yeah my fourth thing will definitely be this freaking cup holder now i don't actually use this cup holder at a minute and even if i did there wouldn't be much point so i've got this one here you guys can see this one here and I've got a little tiny cup, I don't even know, maybe uh, told you drugs in there or something. So, um, yeah, when you have a cup in there and you want your armrest down, not that I would, but if I have my armrest down, I can't get to my cup, I have to move my armrest up. And then when you move your armrest up, this is going to fall down, all your stuff that's in the armrest is going to fall down. So, and there's only one of these, so there's not another, uh, there's not another cup holder in this car. You know, there's nothing here, this is just to hold your you more drugs and um there's no, yeah there's, there's no like cup holders in the in the door card none in the, in the um glove box so you've only got your one and it's not really uh not very useful really so yeah that's definitely going to be is that my fourth thing now fourth thing i don't like about this so yeah it's definitely going to be it's definitely going to be it so yeah, um, my fourth, uh, fifteen, right? Uh, I think it's the headlights. So when you buy these car standards, the headlights are absolutely gash, absolutely terrible. Now, obviously, these aren't the um, not the Xenon or whatever they're called ones. These are just the, the normal bulbs. Now, if you get these standards, um, they are absolutely shocking. Even the fog lights are shocking as well. Uh, they're just not very bright. You can't really see very well at night uh, So it's one of them you you have a couple of different options You can get brighter headlights or you can get a HID kit like mine um, But yeah, it's just absolutely shocking when you first get these cars the headlights are terrible And you know, that's why they are uh, I can see why they upgraded them in the uh, the future The more modern years they are all upgraded and all nice and bright and everything but these ones standard are absolutely shocking. So yeah, that's definitely only my fifth fifth thing I do not like about this. I think there's a couple of other bits and bolts I can't remember on top of my head, but they're normally just nitty picky things. Nothing um nothing big. So uh yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe because I've got a lot more videos coming out on this car, especially when the weather's better. Um I've got some brakes for the rear coming down um, I've also got what else have I got I've got some strut bars as well which I'm going to be doing a video on installing so yeah I'm pretty excited for them to come down hopefully they come down this week and hopefully I can get that on this week and I can do a little review video on how they work and how much of a difference they do so uh, yeah make sure to comment down below what you guys want to see in the future videos and I'll see you guys in the next one peace